Now we will move to the question related to nucleophilic substitution reaction. The question is the organic chloro compound which shows complete stereochemical inversion during SN2 reaction is option A CH3 Cl, option B C 2 H 5 twice C H C L, option C C H 3 thrice C C L, option D C H 3 twice C H C L. Look at the given reaction, it is S N 2 reaction and this involves inversion of stereochemical process. Stereochemical inversion is associated with S N 2 reaction. SN2 reaction is undergone by primary alkyl halide. Amongst the given four options, the primary alkyl halide is methyl chloride. So, methyl chloride undergoes stereochemical inversion during SN2 reaction. So, therefore, the correct option for this question is CH3Cl that is option A. Let us move to the next question. Phenyl magnesium bromide reacts with methanol to give a mixture of anisole and MCOHBr, a mixture of benzene and MCOMEBr, a mixture of toluene and MCOHBr, a mixture of phenol and MCMEBr. Look at the given reactant here. It is phenyl magnesium bromide. Phenyl magnesium bromide is a Grignard reagent. Methanol is an alcohol. Alcohols come under the compounds containing active hydrogen. When Grignard reagent reacts with compounds containing active hydrogen like water, alcohol and ammonia, they readily undergo hydrolysis. Hydrolysis of Grignard reagents gives the corresponding hydrocarbons. So, therefore, phenyl magnesium bromide reacts with methanol. This methanol can also be written as MeOH. So, this methanol has active hydrogen that brings about the hydrolysis here due to hydrolysis here. H is added to this, OME gets linked to this, therefore, we get here benzene MC OME Br. So, this is the reaction of phenyl magnesium bromide with methanol, a compound containing active hydrogen to form the corresponding hydrocar hydrocarbon. So, this we have in the given options that is in option B. So, a mixture of benzene and MZOMEBR is a correct option. So, correct option is option B. Look at the next question. Sodium ethoxide has reacted with ethanol chloride. The compound that is produced in this reaction is diethyl ether, 2 butanone, ethyl chloride, ethyl ethanoate. So, in such questions, 
it's better to write the reaction. If we write the reaction, we'll get an idea about the product formed in the reaction. So, starting materials are sodium ethoxide C2 H5 ONA. This reacts with ethanol chloride. CH3 COCl is ethanol chloride. It is an acid chloride. By the reaction between these two, we get CH3 CO OC2H5 and sodium chloride. So, the product formed here is an ester. This particular ester is named in the IUPAC system as ethyl ethanoate. So, the correct option we have in D, ethyl ethanoate option D is a correct option. So, now there is a question related to polyhalogen compounds. The major organic compound formed by the reaction of 111 trichloroethane with silver powder is option A 2 butene, B acetylene, C ethene, D 2 butyne. To predict the product of this reaction, it is better to write the reaction of 111 trichloroethane with silver powder. 111 trichloroethane is CH3 C Cl3. This reacts with silver Two moles of this reactant will react with six moles of silver to form the product CH3 C CH3 C part of this and CH3 C part of this, which are joined by triple bond. So, the product formed in this reaction is CH3 C triple bond C CH3. The IUPAC name of this product is 2 butyne. So, the product formed by the reaction of 111 trichloroethane with silver powder is 2 butyne, therefore, the correct option is option D. Next question has another series of reactions. Here we have CH2 double bond CH2 reacting with HBr forming X, which then reacts with aqueous KOH to form Y. Finally, Y reacts with sodium carbonate and excess of iodine to form Z. We need to identify Z in this series of reactions. 
the options given for Z are CH3 CH2 I, CH3 CH2 OH, CH I3, CH3 CH O. Again, to get the end product of this reaction, it is better to write the sequence of reaction. The starting material is CH2 double bond CH2. When this reacts with HBr, the product is haloalkane because HBr undergoes addition reaction with alkene to form CH3, CH2, Br. So, addition of HBr to alkene gives alkyl halide or haloalkane CH3, CH2, Br. This haloalkane then reacts with aqueous KOH, which is a nucleophilic substitution of haloalkane leading to the formation of CH3, CH2, OH. And this alcohol then reacts with sodium carbonate and excess of iodine. This is another important reaction which is nothing but iodoform reaction. An alcohol or a carbonyl compound containing COCH3 group reacts with alkali and excess of iodine to form an iodoform. So, this CH3 CH2 OH reacts with the sodium carbonate and excess of iodine or it undergoes iodoform reaction to form CH I3 iodoform. So, the end product Z in this sequence of series is option C CH I3 that is iodoform. Look at the next question. The halogen derivative which does not give precipitate with alcoholic silver nitrate solution is A ethyl chloride, B allyl chloride, C isopropyl chloride, D vinyl chloride. In the previous discussion, we had seen the reactivity order of different halogen derivatives. In that, we had seen that vinyl chloride which is alkenyl halide has the least reactivity. Therefore, halogen atom in vinyl chloride is least reactive, it does not give precipitate with alcoholic silver nitrate. While the halogen atom in all these three being highly reactive, it gives precipitate while vinyl chloride does not give precipitate. Therefore, the correct option is option D. Vidyarthi Mitre Ili Varege Hallo Alkanes Matu Hallo Arrange Saman the Patanta Kalabandu Prasnagalana Sudir Gavagi Church Madidawe E. Churchay Lee Churchy Sidanta Prasnagalige Nedanta Uttaragalige Tavella Inno Hechina Mahiti and Padukondo Hage ಈ ಚರ್ಚೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಲಾದಂತ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸೀಮಿತ ಆಗಿರದೆ ಇನ್ನಷ್ಟು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಚರ್ಚೆಯನ್ನ ಇನ್ನಷ್ಟು 
ಪುಸ್ತಕಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಉತ್ತರಿಸುವಂಥ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಬರಲಿರುವ ಈ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿನೇಳರಲ್ಲಿ ಉನ್ನತ ಶ್ರೇಣಿ ಮತ್ತು ಉನ್ನತ ರ್ಯಾಂಕನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯುವಂಥ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಮದಾಗಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹಾರೈಸ್ತಾ ಈ ಸೆಷನನ್ನು ಮುಕ್ತಾಯಗೊಳಿ